Yeah, since I got more weapons, like the Glove of Doom and the Suck Cannon, I can do more things. So, let's go back here. Oh, I can't even go back to my home planet. Um, let's see. I already did this, but I don't have any gold bolts there. I'm gonna have to look at back at that later. Uh, this one, I can use the swing shot. So let's go to this planet. See, as I was, I, I think I was talking about, like, the Moira stuff. Like, Ana has, like, probably the most perfect kit out there. When you're trying to play as Moira, they did buff her mobility when you're using her fade. So, like, you can do more vertical, um, like, more vertical movements trying to get to higher places. But they, like, at some points where I want to, like, heal more than do damage, like, Moira can only do so much for her healing. Like, she can only do so much for her healing that I always, like, run out of healing juice and I would need to go into DPS mode if, if I want to, like, get that juice back. And it sucks, really. And the guy was complaining about it last night and I had gold healing and gold, uh, gold limbs. So, I don't know what to tell you. I didn't want to have gold damage, and thank god I didn't. But we were doing, like, so much, and... Of course, like, third point had to have us staggered. Also, yeah, like, I think people are right about that map, too. I think it's the... W I think it has to be the worst payload map in the game. Yeah, no, I think they're right. I think Dorado is, like, the worst payload map. Yeah, if I were to pick, besides Dorado 2, what is my actual worst favorite payload map? Uh, I, I think it has to be Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yeah, because, like, there is that one... I think it's the second point of the map where it's, like, the hardest. It... It leaves you staggered when you're trying to enter to the second area with a giant ship. In the, the sh like, the stronghold or whatever. And they could come at you in, like, four corners. And it's, like, super not fair. Like, they could go at you at, like, four corners and it's, like, not fair to, like, not a fair advantage. At least that's what I think. So yeah, Watchpoint Gibraltar is my least favorite payload map. My- oh, hang on. Nice. I think my least favorite hybrid map? Ooh, that- okay, that's a tough one. What are some hybrid maps? There's Blizzard World. I love Blizzard World. Um, King's Row. Whoa, shit! Oh, wait, hang on. There was actually stuff down there. Oh, my... Uh. Oh, that's some good shit. Good thing my wretch can do this. Okay. Um. There's Blizzard World. There's King's Row. Eichenwalds? Ike, uh, no, not Eichenwald. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Silly me. Yep, I can control the cam- It now- t It tells you that time to use the camera controls. If you like, you can reverse your camera controls. Yeah, now it tells you? Yeah, thanks, game. Yeah, I'm, I'm not hating this game whatsoever. I'm actually enjoying this pretty casually. It was just weird for them that right now was the time for them to talk about the camera. Of all places. Um... Ooh. Yeah, that looks like death. Uh, yo. 
There we go. And he did the Babuya. Babushki. Yeah, I have no idea. Like, what is my least favorite hybrid map? I think they're all so good. I think that's like the best game mode. Oh, jeez. Uh... I think I need to throw some bombs there. Hang on. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, King's Row, Eichenwald, Blizzard World. I'm, like, I'm trying to think of what others there were. Payload wise. Payload, payload. There's watch point. Watch point is a high, uh, watch point is payload. Stop the payload! <laughs> I'm trying to like jog my memory into this too. Cause other maps like I could think of is like two CPs and controls, like uh, King of the Hill maps. And yeah, King of the Hill maps. I honestly hate more than 2CP. Like, I would love Anubis and Hanamura. Yes, I do love Hanamura. And, uh, ooh. What is this? That looks nice. It's the Trespasser. I guess I should have gone here earlier. Uh, it's guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line of Invinco lock security doors. Yeah, let's try it out. Lasers are mounted on each ring on the Invinco lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them all green. And they must be green before the Invinco lock will open. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah, hang on. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, so I now have that. So I can go back to the other planets and uh, take care of that uh, commander. If I can actually get back there. Yeah, no, I guess I should have uh, went here earlier. When I had the swing shot. That's yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll cut it back to when I get to the other planet. And then we'll go from there. And here we are, back in the wood planet, sans the the bots are back at it again. But we're not going to do that. So we're going to go to the trespasser door. And then we'll open this lock. Let's open up this pit. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's like one of those locks. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We made it. We made it to the other area. And we can finally kick that, uh, kick that guy's ass. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, I just made it. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, there's like two ways I can go here. I could just like high jump or like long jump. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Also, I just realized too, are, are these going to be like the only power-ups I get in this game? Or am I going to get like more to equip? Whoa! Ooh. Man, I really had to figure out to. Oh. Oh, you do hold the button. Okay. You do hold the button to hover. I thought I thought it was just me doing that. Okay. So yeah, if I look at this inventory here, it looks like there's only one thing I can grab here. I got bombs, a flamethrower, a swing, a slingshot. A gun, a suck cannon, some minions, and a key. And I'm pretty sure the last one I would probably get is like the hoverboard. 
So I'm not... I'm not actually entirely sure... Whoa. Yeah, I'm not actually entirely sure if I would... Uh... Oh. Oh, you're kidding me! So if I double tap the triangle button, I can automatically choose the weapon that is needed for the puzzle. Oh, that's cool, actually. Oh, hang on. Um... I think you go here. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, you just <laughs> I can see him standing there. I just know he's going to kick my ass at some point. Yeah, no, there he is. Might as well do the bomb glove. Or actually, no. Let's see what the glove of doom does. Oh. You sure showed him. I suppose I Oh, come on. I thought that was going to be a boss. Is your current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Trek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester, warhead assembly, <laughs> oh. mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man, suck cannon test dummy, and administrative assistant. So <laughs> I was gonna say those remind me of characters of um I would want to say Spyro the Dragon but that would be in like the GameCube games see all the cool gadgets they're making let's go get some no we must continue our search for Captain Quark you're absolutely right I am sure we need to find Quark although when we find him wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, you think too much. Come on, let's go. <laughs> He's like way into this too. Looks like we got info. Yeah, another info bot to a new planet. I'm trying to look at... Yeah, I'm trying to look at the biography for Ratchet here. And I'm pretty... Oh, yep, here we go. Biographical information. Uh, this looks like the fandom wiki. Hey. It's better than nothing. Um, his homeworld is Fastoon. But he resonates in Velden. Okay, so that's not actually his, uh, his home planet. Membership Gadgetron as an employee... Megacorp as a commando, so that must be in the future. Uh, he does have a father. And probably had a mother. In fact, I think they show his mother in this game, but I think they removed her. Yeah, no, actually. I remember this. It was one of the comparisons between this game and the, the movie game. So they completely changed or retconned Ratchet's backstory. So, like, in this one, he was just born from his mother, which is actually shown in this game, I, I do believe. But in the movie game, I think he was created. Oh my god, yeah, I think he was, like, created in a lab or something. Oh man, I, I have to actually, like, look back at it, but it was definitely not... It was definitely not, uh, genetically created. I, I guarantee you, he wasn't genetically, c uh, c created in the movie game. So, yeah, he definitely, like, they definitely, like, retconned his backstory. They couldn't, like, keep it for some reason. They had to change it, I, I guess. Uh, let's see. So, 
I had to look at the definition. No, close it. I have to look at the definition of his species, which was very interesting to me on what it was called. So, this kind of creature that Ratchet is, is a Lombax. Now, what it says here, Lombaxes are a recurring species in the Ratchet and Clank series, and the species of the main protagonist, Ratchet. They are a humanoid, feline-like species of renowned engineers hailing from planet Fastoon in the Polaris Galaxy. Okay. Huh, okay. Uh, Blarg Station. That's where I need to go next. <laughs> Blarg. Ah! Friggin' Tetris attack. Ah! <laughs> I'm a Blarg main. Um, they have developed some of the universe's most advanced technology in the form of powerful weaponry and fast spaceships and have an innate affinity towards machinery. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is a nice place. Isn't this where Captain Drek just was? Or Captain Drek, uh, Commander Drek just was? He was just here in the video. I guess, I guess the infobot tells us where he was. Uh, notable Lombax technologies include the half tool, half weapon omni wrench, and hover boots. The Lombaxes were once cre uh, revered as heroes after defeating the Kragmites in the Great War. Okay, so I guess that's something I'll have to. <clears throat> that looks like something I'll have to figure out in the later games. Something about a war. What is this? Oh. I could just take that out. Or there's like some sort of fusion core. This shuttle has an autopilot which will take you to a decommissioned Blarg warship. Our scanners indicate that there may be useful technology on board. Ooh. Hmm. 